I'm, this draft will take 10 minutes. You know, that, that game is where it's at. I, I almost like want to have... We're, we need another monitor, Winter. Can you like tab out and we watch the other game on your other monitor? Are you trying to get us fired? No, we can cast and watch... like Much like our viewers, we can watch and do two things at once. They're watching four streams at once. No. We can watch two, right? I am going to stay here with my oh. brother in TNC. I just want to see Empire and... La Ban Pinas! Yeah, we got some SE. I'm actually excited, you know. This is... Like, the best of SEA versus the best of South America. Two regions that are just historically underrepresented on the international stage. And we get the pleasure of casting it. I am Ooh. absolutely thrilled. Queen of Pain, Tuscar, I am. Sam H is Batrider. I'm a fan of Tuscar. You fan of Queen of Pain? No, Tuscar. Very like early Queen of Pain pick. But it has been one of the more dominant mid heroes this tournament. It's good with Tuscar. Like, when I play Tuscar in pubs, I just... Alternate suggests Queen of Pain, Lina, <laughs> yeah. and yep. hope the enemy picks some Invoker, then I can draw on him. <laughs> Rubik! Ah. The wave clear. I, I, I think we talked about this before earlier that TNC's position 5, they like to have. He likes to pick wave clear heroes for yeah. himself. This game, I mean, not. Particularly What's good spells. The big reason here. for going right into like no, no, we haven't seen them go for the Rubik as much as the other five positions. Like the I mean, uh, Silencer is banned. That's part of it. Rubik Silencer. Uh, well, what was the other one I was talking about? Uh, the wave clear. Uh, Rubik Silencer. Lena. He, that, that's, maybe? That's, yeah, Lena. Rubik he hasn't Silencer, been, yeah, they've been doing the Lena more as a mid, but yeah, it was a hero. Stevens played a lot of. Okay. And Winter Wive, when I think. Well, what was the other hero that he played? Yeah, I'm trying to think all it the was games. An obvious hero that I'm, he just. We watched TNC earlier today. Yeah. Who knows? Dazzle, maybe. So Infamous has chosen to take out Sam. Oh, not Sam H. Uh, Tims oh. in the first bands. Those are really crucial heroes for TNC. I think it's a uh, quite a good decision. Like even when you watch like some of uh their C qualifier games, teams will target his hero, and like the way they. They draft is like they like to have the last pick for Cuckoo, so they pick. I'm not sure if you know this. Is they pick like some ultimate last pick mid counter counter pick. That's what they kind of like to do in a lot of their games, and they pick uh Sam H Sam H U hero and T Burn usually appears very very early on or Tims if Tims gets like a like a good first phase pick like a Nyx Sam King. Yep. Perhaps it's going to be more on Theban mm. or 1437 with the Rubik might, to make some of those early moves. Might see it. I, 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 I still can't wait to see a Ricky. I, I like Ricky. Ricky. Oh, we, we saw the Bounty Hunter earlier on. That could be a uh, possibility. I'm uh, more of a fan of Ricky because uh, of the early what? early har harass what, with the what, backstab. What about his famous Earth Spirit? Earth Spirit Earth here. Spirit. Against mm. Quop and Void, the sounds is very good. I, but I don't really like Earth Spirit and Rubik together. Oh, actually, I like this a lot. This, uh, is, this actually is better. Way, yeah, this is better than all of that crap we were just saying. TNC is way smarter than us. 1437 knows what's up. It's very good against the Toss and the Void. Like good, when, even the Quop, you know, you get an X on her, she can't actually blink away. Yeah, when they come in in the. Like Toss, when, when I play Toss a lot in pubs, I don't want to be. Ro like, there are a few heroes that I don't really want to roll in on to. Like, yeah. uh, Pit Lot is one of them. Because <laughs> you, you get stuck in the pit and the firestorm, and Conquer is another one because of the boat. Uh, so yeah. if you're TNC right now, you've picked up Conquer. Who are you spam picking to click mid? You're, you're, who are you alt right clicking right now? Pick this hero for mid to go with Conquer. Because they have AM, they're probably gonna go park. I have some, I think some wave clear here, like someone that can fight and hold the game, so AM can farm. Park. Uh, what Did, what's is Tinker there? too greedy? Tinker can work. I kind of like Tinker too. Because Tinker is very good uh, in the laning phase, so there's going to yep. be a big amount of pressure on the Quap, X Mark, Torrent, and you might die to the laser rocket. So, could work for them. And they don't have very good heroes. To hey, it won't catch work Tinker. for them because it's bad. Yeah. Still there. It's going to be. Uh, what is there? Park is there. Uh, wave clear heroes. Wave clear. Park. Um, Lina is there, right? Yeah, yeah Park, Lina. I was going to Lina. Lina sounds Lina is fine. Quite good for them. Lina's good. They want to pick off heroes and burst damage, something that can just go around fighting, creating space for anti mage. I think Lina does fit that category pretty well. May struggle a bit against I, like the roaming so tusk. Some teams have picked like Death Prophet with AM, but I think this game mm. I don't like Death Prophet against the Void AA because you can die yeah. very easily. I I, I like the Lina. The more 
Uh, Their lineup isn't there to. They're not looking to five man push towers. They have anti mage, and that's where I feel that the death prophet is no, more. Are, it's not about five man push. It's, the idea is like the death prophet will create a diversion because he pressure your tower. Yeah. You defend your tower, then AM will farm and speed I, else. I just feel like death prophet's quite weak if you can't bring the carry to fight with her in those early pushes. I feel like death prophet needs to be picked in a draft where you've got like a jug, a troll, an ursa, some fighting carry so you can push towers with. I agree. It is a diversion, yes, but I think it's a very squishy diversion. Puck, wave clear, early game, ganking potential. Yeah, Puck is very good against uh, Tuska and A. They can't lock her down, him or her. I think it's a her. It. Uh, it. Okay, it. They can't fairy lock. Fairy dragon. Fairy. They, they fairy. can't lock it down. Non gender defined. Okay, Parker. Fairy. Okay, okay. So, Tuska, this game, yeah. I mean, you can still pressure, like. Like, what you do is, like, you, you wait. You wait until she. It uses his. <laughs> I can't do this. You wait until she uses her AWP and okay. yeah, you roll and you find the opportunity to kill her. It's still possible because at some point, you're gonna... Uh, you, you're one way or the other, you're gonna use your AWP to farm and get last hits. So you just need to be patient and wait for that to happen. Uh, if it is going to be a safe lane void, then they don't have to help the void too much. But we'll see what they go for. Is it gonna be off? Because off lane void against AM, I don't like it so much. It's quite hard. Because he burns all your mana and you can't really lane so well. I think you you probably want to pick something else to Yeah, so the Legion would have been great. He's one of the better AM counters. Yeah, you um, want to contest the AM farm. Like you, you don't want the AM to just like farm with no pressure. And that's also been the go-to King Tekka hero for the offlane for a lot of this tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Queen Tekka. Okay. I really like the, the Beastmaster pick. We saw that in some other games earlier today. Could be a good lockdown option. Some... Pushing potential there. Otherwise, you go uh, big. You go team fight if, big. If you want option. to counter AM, you go, I think you go Doom. If you really mm. want to counter AM, like have a hero that about, can kill it. What about some team fight like Enigma or something? Yeah, we'll find out what it is. Whoa! What so is? So voice off lane. Uh, yeah, voice off lane. Yeah, Benja's carry Monkey King. I fast tempo. I think this is quite good against uh, the yeah the pace of the game. How they want to play. Uh, quite good synergy with the Void Chrono. Mm, I think overall is a quite a good pick here, but it's not good against Bear Rider. That's what I don't like about. That's the only thing that I don't like about the pick here. Bear Rider is a very big uh, Monkey King counter, because number one in the lane, right? Because it's usually very hard to lane against Monkey King, because Monkey King is like Ursa, very hard for offlane. But Bear Rider can lane against you, cause sticking a pump, and he just burns around, like runs over on top of you, and he like circles around you, so you can't hit him with the napalm. Yep. The turn turn rate. Yeah, so you can't even. If he goes in with Firefly, you can't and even get the in, in the right game itself. Off. You're always on, like you're probably going to be on the tree most of the time, and it's a bad rider. Well, the the carry Monkey King build we're seeing is not even getting the tree dance. It's like maximum yeah, I mean, four zero two build. Later, yeah. you're going to be like true. Bad rider is just a good hero against yeah, Monkey King. You do at later points fly and around and you can jump pull him out of the uh, the Wukong's command. Sure. Or you can bounce him out with the flame break. There are like the whole skill Options. set of Bad Rider is very good against Monkey King. So that's okay. the only thing I don't like about the Mikey King here, but apart from that, it's all good. All good indeed, as we hop ourselves into game one. Wait, are they going to... Wait, they're actually going to contest the AM thing, I think. Looking at how they're actually moving out. They don't want that. I mean, you mentioned Monkey King bad against Bat, then how about you just don't lane him against the Bat? Yeah, and Void is bad against that damage. That's why it's <laughs> You don't want to lane the Void against the AM. He sees the Void. Deepin. Sentry's yeah, it. Actually, this is this is quite good, Parker. Uh, they're gonna have a void against Bat Rider. Is so so. It's okay because you have you can take an early point in the uh, what do you call it uh, the time dilation to deal with the the napalm if he goes on you. But overall, it's gonna be difficult for Bat Rider to try and kill the void if you have a uh, one point in the time dilation. So, I think all in all, oh, both teams. I are think going this aggro. decision to go aggro lane is quite good but for. But TNC are doing it as well. They're dodging in some ways. Did they like. see? Oh, what did they see? They see the. Oh, did they see the void here? They may have with their ward. Oh, maybe they saw the void as well. Right. I think it's I very. Know. Yeah, they have now. They know I, void's I bottom. I did not pay attention to that. Yep. So they know void's bottom. Anti mage is going to be headed down there. They know an aggro challenge coming, and Bat should not be going for this rune. He's got to foresee this one. Void can try to go for this rune because <laughs> it's not void. Yeah, he can. He may take he some might, damage. He might know something's coming here. Torrent, maybe. The lift will be there, he shouldn't be able to get the rune and uh, that's not the case. Oh, oh. I think he might actually be in some sort of trouble. They're gonna body block. Oh, okay, no, no, he didn't get the body block. 
They have to body block him to get that kill. Harass? But not. Yeah, not gonna get the yeah, kill. It's, a, it's a void before my show, yeah. What yeah. am I talking about? He's not dying. <laughs> Two runes each, and Queen Tekka headed to the off lane says, yeah. No, 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 this is not the lane for me. We are contesting anti mage. Fortunately, uh, they have to walk, make a long trek across the map. But the creeps have not arrived. Oh, yeah, they're arriving soon, you know. In the earlier game as well, it was musical lanes. Was it our earlier game? There was one game. Yeah, there was. I remember that one. It was, uh... What's the Lich, right? The game with the Lich. The Lich was like following. The, it was the Weaver Bat game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember that game. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll head down there. There is a TP on Tusk, so he can make his way either TP down bottom. He may want to rotate and try to go for a gank on mid. AA also has a TP. Yeah, they need to make sure they minimize the XP loss as much as you can when you're doing all these lane swaps. So and by walking there, it means if AM now decides to TP top, they can actually TP and follow. Yeah, they should save the TP for that. Yep, yep, that's correct. Very well said, Parker. Well done. Hey, you know, I've done that. This co-caster analyst thing from time to time. <laughs> I know, I know the drill, Winter. I'll just, I, I'll do your job and mine for this game. How about <laughs> I'll just, you know, sit here and be chill. You wanted a game off. I okay, AM TPing. Let's ah, see. but they've got the TPs. Yeah. So they have the TPs. Monkey King can buy his. He wants. He's gonna clear this camp first. Yep, here we go. The lane swap. Ho 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 back top. Hey, walked bottom, then TP top, and here comes Monkey King. There's no getting away from this lane, Mr. Raven. In this kind of scenarios, we just need to keep count how many TPs they use. Who actually use more TPs? Yeah. And also like the TP, whoever TPs first is at a disadvantage because the TP chase is there. So AM he did get like two waves of creeps yeah. when he was down there. So it's a, he got something. By by walking bottom it meant AM got CS, but it also meant they had the TPs to chase him top and now. So I think Dota him. will be proceeding as normal now. <laughs> yeah. So lanes will be normal. I don't think you're gonna swap again because then it will be not they'll, good. They'll chase him again, yeah. you know, you're wasting your time. So it's better right. to play this top lane, use Ma your pulls. Matthew is gonna try to set up maybe something on Koku. If Koku uses the AWP, then he Ooh. might be in trouble here. It's all about the patience game, Parker. It is. Wait for that orb, where he might use it to go for some last hits or something. Puck gets an illusion room, which is very nice for the early last hits. I think TNC are going to be okay with this. They can still secure the AM's lane just through the pull camps. And just look to pull the lane back as much as possible. I say that, Raven. But this lane is quite difficult now. Yes. Like Monkey King with the passive and chilling touch. Good luck with that. That's actually quite disgusting, yeah? Even the, you mentioned the Void against the Bat should do just fine with the time yeah, because dilation. because the Bat can't kill you because of the first your walk, time walk and time dilation. Yeah. He can never kill you. you. You must be doing some major mistake for the Bat to be able to kill you. Well, Infamous has done a really good job setting up their lanes to succeed then. The pull will come up top, but it's going to be just a very short-lived pull. Yeah, but the Void is currently... He needs to get this pull off. Oh no, he's not going to get the pull, but he, he's not... Getting as much CS as the the bear either. I don't not get hit by the torrent. Could have maybe gone for an X there. So overall lane situation. Puck has 18 CS compared to 11 of Timado. So Kuku in the lead here. Carry Y 16 on Monkey King, 10 on AM. So most of that AM CS was one, that first one lane a piece here. So. Yeah. Infamous is winning the top lane. When oh. AMTP top, he had 7 CS, so, so he's only gotten 3 CS TNC since coming top. is winning mid, and bottom is like a white wall. I think it's just, this lane is like kind of like a draw lane. Like, both are going to farm, and no one's going to die. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. X mark. Time dilation. Oh, it's on cooldown. Here, he's only got he, mana he's for a he's fine. Okay, it's going to be close. <gasps> he's not fine. Yeah, when oh G my god. Just, you know, let me do the analyze. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Is Raven is Raven fine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I don't think he's fine. <laughs> I'm Great. sure the void thought he was fine there. You yeah, know? I mean, you don't go for the TP if you don't think. You can. No. It looked like it was. It, it was close. Like the ra the last strike right click, I was like, ah, he has permanent yeah. shield. He's fine. Uh, uh. I'm just butt busting shots. Okay, Mr. Chen. Okay, okay, Parker. Where is Antimage going to go? I feel like this is a big issue for him, not being able to get any farm up top. They are winning this mid lane, but not by as big a margin as Infamous winning top. Oh, X mark. Oh no. Can't actually blink away from this one because of that X. And Matthew will T 
TP in, but I guess the idea for TNC is win the other lanes hard enough that you create yeah. space for anti mage. That's really all you Konka can Konka do. is doing all the uh, the good moves right now because the enemy is using three to zone the AM, like to pressure the AM, and he's just uh, playing the other two lanes. Because yeah. they can't fight the top lane because of AA, the chilling touch is just too yeah. difficult for them. AM actually walked bottom, which means if Monkey King now TPs, he can TP away. Wow. What observation, Parker. Yeah. You're so smart, Parker. I try, some days. Some days you try, some Bring days you don't try. For the uh, infamous TNC, you know. Okay. This is, this Ma is gonna be the Matthew big is still waiting here. Ah. Come on, use your AWP, Cuckoo, come on. Then I can snowball on you. <laughs> Patience is... Patience for Matthew. So far, not paying off. Okay, so Anti-Mage, where are you headed? Actually, Monkey King. I talked about him TPing bottom. He's gonna walk bottom. Again. <laughs> The mind games, it's yeah. the TP mind games. You no, know, TPs have a really long cooldown. Even it's, though they are cheap, you know? Yeah. Well, it's one of those things which has been nerfed and changed a lot over the last year or so. They used to have, like, what, 60 second cooldown? Now it's up to, to 80. Oh, mid lane, finally. His patience. His patience. There is no AWP. <laughs> You see, Matthew was a patient player. Tim's gonna get the torrent, but no backup. He finally got him, so right now, it, usually in a pub game, this would be the mid player scamming beneath wards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Radiant Inf Infamous have had their ward there for some time. Tomorrow yeah. will. Um, so the, the only ward they have right now is the top lane for TNC, so there should be one soon to help uh, the mid lane out. Monkey King's back top, AM's back bottom. What, what's going on with these? This is. We thought the earlier game was musical lanes. This one is taking it to the next level. I think winter. this is good enough for Infamous. He used his ult. Okay. Tomato will not follow this one up. Does have a oh, Sonic wave. Matthew, he's in trouble. King Tekka forced to time walk away. Yeah, but I think one. Infamous has already achieved what they wanted to slow the AM. The AM is already, I think, significantly slowed down by all this. Musical lanes. Yep. You're not killing him, but you're already slowing down enough with, with all this lane pressure. His Raven's been pulled all and over the map. And after this, you use your Chrono and you kill the AM. That would be the, <laughs> the yeah. icing on the cake. I mean, the Void has not had to rotate lanes. I mean, he has to the extent he, he TPs around, but he's not the one walking across the map wasting time like AM. And even Super Benjes on the Monkey King is under level because of all the walking he's been doing, but. See. Potential initiation, the flame break, pushback, perfect, on point, He's doesn't get the body block. Fine, bro. Time dilation. Yeah. If he got the body block, maybe in a different story. Time dilation. Red Rider is the enemy of time. Oh, and look, Monkey King has followed the AM again. And AM, with another TP, is going to go back bottom, I can imagine. They're basically, what they're trying to do is like make everyone poor. If you, the AM is poor and the Monkey King is poor, the That's Monkey good. King is going to yeah. be happy. He can do more with no farm. AM is a hero that has to have farm. He's a creep. Yes, no fun. A little bit better than a creep, a blinking yep. creep. I mean, as long as, you know, TPs, they cost 50 gold. As long as you get a couple of CS every time you TP, you're, you are gaining. So basically... I mean, just is back bottom. I mean, basically right now, <laughs> TNC, uh, they have to wait for Koku to make some moves to help his team. They, this, is, this is comical. Okay. Yeah, but they have to wait for Koku to help. Like, the yep. other lanes moving around, it's like, not much they can do about that. They just need to be patient and wait for the puck to move around and gank with the coil. He's actually jungling. Okay. I think at this point he's probably realized like maybe it's better to get an iron talent, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking just that. You often want to, I mean, you want the quelling blade for the battle fury, but ultimately you can get the iron talent and still buy just another quelling blade. Like you say, it does feel like an iron talent game in some sense. But if you look at the net worth, the pot and the bad are like this is actually still okay for TNC yeah. because the other two, at the expense, like they are using so much resource to deal with. Nice. Well, meanwhile, Kuku gets picked off by the Sonic Wave and the Tusk. I guess he used the core, I mean the AWP, the farm. Uh, but at the expense of using so much resource to slow the AM, the other two lanes are not going so well. Yeah, I think that's where if the mid lane was more even, you'd say this is fine for Infamous, but Puck was winning. Now it has become more even, yeah, so I think Because this of game the kill. That kill was big. Yeah. Before that kill happened, I think TNC were okay with anti major spot, but now it does look like Infamous have some tools at their disposal to get more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Good use of the Sonic Wave, it's one of those spells you don't just want to let it sit there, you want to go ice, for kills. They have Ice Blast. Oh, oh my god, they might be able to get his kill. Find out he does sidestep the Ice Blast, another blink up in a couple of seconds. 
Raven is leveling this one up, and actually they're going to get the kill on Super Benjes, and it's Raven getting the last hit of all people. Yep. They can chase for more. MH coming in to help out the carry. Yep. That's just classic TNT. Can Raven even get another last hit? They're trying to leave it for him, perhaps. Snowball to the neutrals. He's going to want to get this deny. Raven's going for the last hit, and he'll get it. TNC. Yeah, he has an iron talent. He actually has an iron yep. talent. Okay. He talked about what he can do, and he's following a well-informed analysis, Winter. Thank you. I shall take back that, you know, duty yep. from you. And Chrono You're on re top, hired. but no Ice Blast, no Bash, so... But teams are still getting slowed by the Orb of Venom. Uh, was so close no to level bash. 6. <laughs> he, he hit him like 6 times. Maybe I'll juke him now with the trees here. It's Sam H at bottom getting killed in XL as Tim's continues to juke around the corner here. King Tekka wants to find him with the Time Walk and... Oh! He guesses wrong oh. and now the X is there. I think Tim's may just survive because of this. He has time dilation to slow. Oh, I think he actually might be able to get this kid. <laughs> he's still chasing. I'm missing so many kills right now, but I'm I, sorry, I, but he's still okay. chasing. <laughs> oh my no, God. no, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I, I committed for it. I don't know what we missed. We missed a couple of kills on the Rubik and uh, the A, mid. I don't a know what died there. earlier. I think A was like looking at top, trying to land his eyes. So spot. Sam H got a kill, died in the process, and then. Monkey King killed the Rubik. Yeah, I think AM already caught up significantly after that last two uh, exchange where they... The, I think he has to thank Sam H for, uh, for that. Like Sam H coming in to bail him out and the Ice Plus did not connect. I was very surprised that the A was already level 6 at about eight, 8 and a half minutes. Yeah. All the lane movement I guess led to him having kind of solo XP from time to time because he did not have he's to move high, as much. He's higher, he was higher level than the uh, Monkey King. Yeah, I mean, it was Monkey King rotating. It wasn't actually AA. AA didn't care which lane he was in. He didn't chase anti major around. Ice Blast Whoa. bottom. Can they get the kill on Sam A? Let's clip him. TNC with a stolen boundless strike. They're actually going to be able to get this kill. It looks like the Torrent's there to follow up the lasso and they do bring down King Tech. Good steal there by t there. Setting up the kill for his team. But right now, they have to focus on trying to use their ultimates to get like... I think the AM is still the biggest target. They want to use their Chrono or Sonic Wave in combination with the Ice Blast to take out the key heroes. Especially the AM. 12 minute rune, who's going to grab it? Let's go Cuckoo's way and... Uh oh! Oh, his silence cooldown. Yeah, it wasn't cooldown. Do you have a Dream Call, but you don't want to use that without the silence. So basically, if you're infamous right now, you're okay here. Yeah, cool. Good Tarn initiation. They are going to bring down the Monkey King. Sam H has drums. He should be fine here as they may actually chase for more. X should be coming back up soon. You know, it's just a uh, level 2x so they won't have a, the short cooldown. But Raven's now rocked up to the party. Maxing out Torrent. This is not the normal Kunkka build. But giving him a lot of extra damage output. I like this build though uh, compared to... The X mark build sometimes people like I think the, that's the general build having max X mark and then yeah. some players have low torrent and then they have one point high being oh oh well that hot snowball incoming yep. no escape for Tim's but ultimately you know space for AM you see the net worth and I think right now TNC have been got to feel like the AM is kind of caught back up as you were saying mid T1 tower is going to go down we'll see if Puck can get the last hit or if he can even get away from this gank he does need to be a little bit careful. Nice jaunt into the trees where he cannot be followed. They have to smoke with uh, use the corner and kill the AM. Like go into the jungle and find him places. They have a ward. Their wards are not deep enough, so they have this ward here around the top bounty rune. But ideally, you want to have like a deep ward around the the ancients area, the camps nearby, because AM is gonna be farming around this area. You want to see him and you want to go there, corner and kill him with the ice glass. King That's Tekka what they for want. now is just sitting in this bottom lane getting some farm. They have to use, they have to address this AM. AM if they don't address the AM, AM is gonna win them the game. AM is gonna be an issue if he gets too farmed. Sam H is smoked up. They're looking to bait the AM, so perhaps anticipating that move, but it's mid lane oh, where good the snowball. Very, very good snowball for Matthew. But then damage may not be done just yet. The ice blast goes through. We'll get the Batrider. Looks like Axel should go down here. 1437 will finish him off the Monkey King. Deploys the ultimate. Be a one for one. Oh no. Chronosphere. Puck caught in this one, but here comes 1437 looking to stun and bail out his puck. The base shift is there, but I don't think Cuckoo's got a way out. And oh, snowball again. Oh, time walk away. Drags him in even further. Good fight so far. For oh, haste rune. Haste rune. Fight might continue. They just need the shrine. <laughs>
But so far, I think AM is still farming all the way. And they have used it for pick up the damage for this one. No. And the, the treads and the Mourn charges. Yeah, still worrisome for Infamousal. AM is farming away and this AM is going to get big and it's going to be an issue. I mean, on the, uh, on the other hand, they do have like Chrono plus Ice Blast is one of the best combinations to kill the anti mage mid late game, even if he has farm. So we'll see how the game pans out, whether they can control him. Here comes Puck, they want to defend this one. TNC get the X to initiate. Snowball. Plus he's going to snowball in forward aggressively, trying to create space for the rest of the team just to finish off the tower. They will bring down the Tusk. Tower, meanwhile, gets brought down to deny range, but not finished off as Sam H did not have a lasso to go on anyone. AM still farming, that is... Yeah, they have to kill, try and kill the AM somehow. With, uh, they need the Tuskar or the Chrono. No. I'm actually going for the uh, plus 20 damage, not the health. What's wrong with it? Not every game you get the health. I think this game, this game, he probably feels like he wants to, because he's behind from the lane. Not that he's behind now, but he was behind before. And he wanted to keep farming. Probably feels like the, he's not, the health is, he's, if he gets ganked in corner Chrono, he's dead regardless. So yeah. he may as well get the damage to farm fast. No matter what he's dead. Yeah. yeah. Because ice blast was so anyway. You should not be caught in the corner regardless. So yep. Any damage. If you're not caught in the Chrono, you, you don't, you just blink away. Chrono in 25 seconds. Uh, so AM should be reaching all the way to mid bottom. To, like he should not be playing around here. Mado, this could be bad for him. No go chip being used, knowing that the snowball dodge was going to be there. Tim's anticipating that counterplay. Nicely done by him. The snowballs from Matthew have been really on point this game. Yep, but right now, they are trying to force this tower, and TNC is just going to deny it. And AM is farming the mid lane, so this is still really good for TNC here. Definitely, I mean, you talk about AM carrying this game, it really is a limitation of control and lockdown. Top lane, they're going to go in the Ice Blast with the Snowball, catches Cuckoo. Little life and now the Chronicy to the south with the Sonic Wave brings down Theban. Tim's as well in some trouble. He is slowed up by the time dilation. Tomato just gonna go bowling in, looking to finish off the puck here. We'll need a bit more damage. Have the mana for a blink scream right now. Oh, and they can't chase this. They have to back off. So they will back off. Earn themselves back up. Try and uh, take this T2 down. AM is gonna go bottom and kill this AA. <laughs> I think this AA is dead. He tip it down, right? Midas. He tip it. I think he tip it down. Or he's maybe not. Headed that way. He puts down a lane ward. He knows he may be in a bit of danger. He's bored his Midas at least. Oh, Queen Tekka. Got caught. TP got cancelled. Oh. There's a freebie there for TNC. Yeah. Unbeknownst to TNC, still in these trees. He's fine. There's Parker. the Battle Fury. He's fine, Parker. 17 and a half minutes. I see an Ice Blast. Yeah, I did. Kind of no uh, not gonna hit anything. Okay. That's rather strange, but he wants that Midas and to start using it on the AA, but I'll have to wait a little bit longer. Is that Timmy Jackson gonna look? No, he's just doing some shopping. God, Excel is so close to, to danger right now, but be okay. May I actually lurk around, look for the kill on him. <laughs> oh, missed the ice shards, unfortunately. Oh, I got. That would have been a kill. Yeah. We'll get away. It's a level 4 cool. Chasing it with the Warrus Punch! Going to charge. Oh, okay. He is in a bit. Oh, he X'd himself? Okay. Uh, okay. Wha what? Alright, nice snowball. Dodging some more spells. The Ice Blast can go flying through. It looks like Kunkka will just barely get away from that one. Yeah, he did not get clipped by it as Matthew Low being brought down by the flame break. Sam H can be credited that kill. Sam H having a strong showing on his signature Batrider as Anti Mage continues to farm, split push, and go unchecked. So, looking at the items, Monkey King has a hood. He's building into a solar crest, like all early mid items right now. Yes. Void has. Uh, Void is actually going for. Um, Midas. Oh, we had so the Vlad speed up earlier, but yeah, change they have plan. So, so look at their game plan. They have double Midas, A and Void. And Monkey King has decided to go for... So there's like some sort of balance. Two greedy, one... Uh, one, one fighting, fighting item. Yeah. Fighting item. Oh, and the fighting item also is a Roche item, so if they win a fight or get ahead, they can secure Actually, themselves okay, a Roche. Uh, I think this game, because they're up against the AM, they're going to need more firepower from the other heroes. Yeah, they need that Void to get big. Oh, 
Orange gonna lead things off with a lift. They've caught Tomato. No escape for you. Great gank coming out from TNC. Yeah. He's building into the Orchid so he doesn't have like... Usually you see like Bill and Yules onto our pain and Yules against Conquer is really nice. But this game he wants to go for the more aggressive build to kill the anti-mage. But I think at this rate, when he gets the Orchid, AM would have a uh, Manta. Yes. Does appear to be... This is not way. very good for uh, the pop. Makes that Orchid not that scary of an item mid lane. They've now perhaps found... This guy is very tanky though. <laughs> this guy is not an easy kill. He's gonna get armor from the ultimate and he has Medallion and Hood. He is very difficult to kill. Fuck at bottom. Looks like he was chronoed and then brought down following the chrono. Nice little gank by the Void and AA. Back in the river, it is gonna be Monkey King deploying the Wukong's command. Trying to bring down Sam HM with the Queen of Pain showing up. They'll make sure they get that kill. Trying to find more with the Ice Shard. Falling a little bit short there as Manu does go fishing looking. So they should be able to. Mm, but Chrono is down. They're flying. Can they take this tower? Wukong's command is respawning down. Respawning soon. Yeah, and Puck and Rubik, they'll be pushing out all your creeps. Clearing out all your wave. AM's just gonna say, look. And AM is gonna play the, uh, the yeah, other two He doesn't around. care about whether this tower is defended or not. Yeah, this is actually gonna be tough to, clear, to take the tower. Do they have Blip? Oh, no Blip. But Puck is gonna be alive. And the stolen Blink Dagger, 1437, is even just like positioning himself very far forward to initiate. King Tech is very low already. Be careful how he plays this one. No ship being held onto for now. The X again. Tomato being caught out. Antimage took a tier 2 here. Snowball trying to be used to dodge. Although the torrent was not timed up with the X perfectly. Oh, here comes here comes Sam H. They're trying to stop TPs. And they blink in with the telekinesis. Even stolen blink setting up an initial pick up on the Monkey King. And they've got more with the Queen of Pain who blinks, breaks the Dream Coil. TNC know this. They've got a, no blink available in the bat run because of that Shadow Strike. And that will save Tomato's life, it seems, for yeah. now. And the Sinjo as well, slowing That's them down. But Cuckoo. Cuckoo is here. Cleans up the Corp. Maybe he cleans up Tusk as oh, well. Top lane, AM is hunting down the A. <laughs> So yeah, the snowball in, and they know that this tusk is in all sorts of trouble. Torrent, as well as the lift, waiting for him. TNC just playing very calculated Dota. It's, they're, they're just understanding the nature of their anti-mage lineup. Like, okay, four, we're creating space for anti-mage. Some yep. classic four protect one Dota. I recognize this was a good game for the anti-mage, and while well, the lane stage was a struggle, once AM came online, there is so little to control and deal oh, with him. AM is already... Oh, he has his Manta already. Okay, Huge. so... His net worth is right up there. So the only thing that can kill him right now is the Chrono Ice Blast. But they're gonna need Chrono Ice Blast and the Sonic Wave now. Because he's very fast. Has that extra second off of his Blink cooldown now with the Talons. So, okay. If you're infamous for right now, you're thinking about... If the AM is already going to be this bad, you're like sort of like making sense for the ultra late game. Because yes. if they get to say pass 40 minutes, and they get the Void and he is strong with a lot of items with the Corp, Monkey King, they have enough uh, firepower to kill him in the corner for sure. But the problem is, AM is going to get all his items like around 30 minutes and he's going to try to end the game. Yes, That's he's not going to let you He's farm. not going to let you farm. He will apply a lot of pressure, and you can't kill this AM that easily, so when he's just applying pressure down a lane, you've got to address it, and tell him the question of how do you address it. Well, I here's the anti-mage in action. I, I think if they can sneak, somehow sneak a Roche, because they're going to have a, a Solar Crest soon, yep. if they can actually sneak a Roche, that would give them a lot of time to farm. Sure. Five, four, five minutes. So I think that could be a good plan for them. They have a Solar Crest or Monkey King, so at some point, Monkey King plus the Void can easily take down the Roche. Yeah, in fact, I think that could be a solid plan for Infamous right now. TP out, the pings were being spammed. I think Purple, the, the Tusk Matthew, wanted a stun from Benjas. <laughs> could have cancelled that TP. Okay, so right now lanes are not pushed out. Infamous has to deal with the lanes. TNC are just shuffling lanes out, shuffling lanes out. And they're going to try to camp with the Bat Rider. Tonka try to get Pegasus here. And they just, they're just going to just continuously make space for the AM. But the AM is like, he's already more than ready to fight now. He's, he can, as long as he 
comes and avoids the chronos. Make sure that he's not inside the chrono. I think it's going to be very, very difficult for the other four heroes to kill the AM. That is a bad sign, I feel, for Infamous. They just bought three smokes at once. That's like a, wait a second, we have smokes? We should be using these kind of moment. Okay, gonna get... Oh, no. Samsung. Oh, he's not gonna get... Oh, he rules. He may need to. Oh, stop. Look at that, man. That's the Tusk player. Look at that. Three cards, though. So Winter approved play. Yeah, he's very good. Very good. I've been talking about uh, this guy like since you know uh, the first game we casted. I was playing with him in a couple of pubs and yeah, you know, he was really good. His movements that they it's not only the Tusk when he was playing Sand King. Got a lot of good power strikes, uh epicenters. Yep. Always at the like being at the right place at, at the right time is like a uh, huge telltale of being a very good player. This is definitely a team with the individual skill and prowess. Like I think we're seeing that. I think they're showing their inexperience from time to time and with the decision and making. Yeah, the decision making in their team play. The fact you have three smokes unused in stock, that's unheard of. Like against that, an AM. <laughs> yeah, against an AM, a hero that you want to be ganking with the, the Chronosphere, as you mentioned. You keep saying that you know you've got to find the AM Chronosphere. They, they got a few good Chronospheres, but they never got the AM. That's like the the one main concern I was <laughs> repeatedly talking about during like maybe around 10 to 15 minutes at that point of time like AM needs to be hunt down they need to have hunt the AM they need to kill the AM they need to kill the AM they got Kronos off but they were killing the like the park they were killing the Rubik the Konka but they were not killing the AM definitely shows you this is a team with a lot of potential if they can figure yeah. out some of that team decision making and movement it's more of also the they I think they were quite unsure about like the general direction, how what do you need to do to win the game? Yes, using your chrono is good. Like you have a spell, and you want to use it, but using it to do what? That is also another thing that you have to consider. You are not just trying to just use a chrono to kill anyone. How do you win the game? You need to slow the aim down. But at this rate, I think Infobus are already more or less set to go on a long haul with the two Midas. They are not going to be able to stop the aim anymore. They're just going to try to scale as well as the aim with the Midas. TNC have actually uh, caught on to that, I think, game plan because, like, 1437, he went Midas on Rubik, something I didn't even pick yeah. up on until now. He's Gosh. incredibly farmed and will only continue to get more farmed. But the thing is, like, if you think about for if the game reaches 40 minutes and Boy has a Mantle Diffuser and a Silver Edge, he can actually kill the AM. He can? It's He's a very possible. strong hero to deal with AM when it gets to that stage. Like, but a, there's going to be a farm puck, a farm, like, Conquer, yeah, but, Rubik, but, 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 a Rubik, there's a lot of Void is, is gonna kill any whoever gets caught in the chrono with the Ice Blast, it's a dead hero. The, the one thing they have to protect them is gonna be that Coco's run. You drop a ghost ship on top of Thank it, you. and it's getting be caught to save Goku it. Here. He has backup though. Yeah. King Tekka is looking for a potential chronosphere with the he Shadow might Blade just initiation. Go for the here. He's in once to stop the blink, throws the chrono. Takes the freebie pick off. Do you think this is fine at this stage just to keep uh, using Chronos for solo kills? But every time you do that, that's going to be a consequence. Raven was like, oh, Chronos down. I'm just going to aggressively speed push because there's no Chrono. Yeah. So So what other tools they have to kill him? Do they have They have the Orchid plus the Wukong? Well, the Orchid against the Manta is not really a tool yeah, at this point. They, it's quite difficult without a Chrono. Though. You need to time your snowball, the bounce strike. <laughs> Everything needs to be... <laughs> needs to be in sync. Like even if I think if they land the snowball punch and the boundless strike with the ice blast and something, yeah, yeah, they probably can. But everything needs to be perfect. But if you have chrono, then it's easy. Even that stun duration is not particularly long. Okay, so this is this their first smoke? Maybe second. Smoke. Oh, they have three smokes and it's they an just accidental use a smoke. smoke. <laughs> oh, that was that. Okay. It's a warding smoke. So they have four smokes. Uh, yeah, it looks that way. They had four smokes. Because that is at this stage, you know why they are not getting too much opportunities. Because AM and Puck and Batrider, they are and Rubik, they are all clearing out the lanes. They are all pushing out yeah. the lanes. And which heroes are on Infamous? You can push out lanes. Tuska. I think Tuska. You, you want to get? Uh, no, he didn't get the 100, uh, 150. I think this game the 150 is good because yeah. you need an extra hand to clear out ways. The Void wants the way the Void wants to play this game. Use his Midas and then keep hiding and try to hunt. But right now, Excel is the one getting hunted down by TNC. So another stolen ice blast. What? He got ice blast? He did. That should not oh, be that happening. That is bad. That is really, so really bad. Fantastic steal, the, the Rubik. Perhaps just going to be a Roshan here yeah. for TNC. Back to the game plan that I was uh, talking about before. Like I think Tuska, Queen of Pain, 
these two heroes should be the people pushing high. Monkey King occasionally with uh, the three dance, you jump down, you clear a wave. But Void, you, you really want the Tusker to push our lane, so I think that the 150 is more Because the, the Void needs to be out of the region to take a pressure. They still jump play. here. They go in with the Ice Blast, they demolish Infamous, they get the lift oh, the game as awesome. well. There is just no opportunity for the Void to go in. He gets coiled up and Raven walks into it afterwards. Oh, but Rubik has Chronosphere. Oh dear, he can just lock down Infamous if he needs to. The Ice Blast connects alright, but the damage just isn't really there. Raven gonna go forward, blinks out of the cold Chrono. feet, and there's the Chrono just on the Monkey King, but maybe enough to set up. They get the Torrent to follow this one up, and just gets pushed into a tough spot here. The Shrine could keep him alive, but they've already lost the support oh, AA again. Out. Out. Cannot afford to die, but Raven is yeah. gonna do just that. Focus him down. The X back is gonna likely finish off the Void. He's got no mana to time walk. Gem gets dropped, and... I hit this. Looks that way. The gem of Axel gets picked up by TNC, so it's a huge swing. It's a Rax. The anti mage has done anti mage things. Taken game one. You, you say that, but I I think his teammates have done the anti mage to me. His teammates are the ones that held the game. I think that's true. Rubik, Rubik, Bat Rider, and Park. All uh, even the the Conquer did. Like I think. The most flashy one is Rubik. Probably this game. That's Whoa. not something you Bat get to Rider, say. Bat Rider, He was in 22 of the 24 kills. Yeah, so but that's not something credit. you get to say about Tiban. Like he did have a have a very exceptional game. A lot of yeah. good steals, and you can see the game plan. Why TNC likes to have a position five that mm -hmm. has wave clear. This is the kind of game they like to play, and for Infamous, I think they did have their chances to win yeah, the game. They just the didn't first, make the the, the right move. Field chronos, like. The first few chronos with the smoke and. They needed to have that kind of very threatening moves into the jungle. You smoke the Void, plus maybe the A, the A or the Corp, like two people. At that point, you can kill the M. You go into the jungle, you put down wards, you see you see if you can get the M. You can't get the M, you get someone else. But the next time, because you have the ward, you have a higher chance of getting the AM. They could not catch Raven because they didn't have really deep wards. They had like, remember, they had one ward at the bounty area, and then one ward at the river. They did not have like really, really deep wards that scout out the jungle. So I think that was... Uh, Lacking from infamous, and they needed to use their smokes. That, that was pretty much what they needed to do to catch them. If they would have gotten the aim, like say once or twice, yeah, before the battle fury, before the battle fury, yeah, yeah, or when he just get the battle fury, that would have been a huge difference because he's so weak at that stage, and you're not killing him. Yes, they got like some a few two man chronos, but they're not killing the aim. They're not doing the moves to win the game. That was the hero that was going to win TNC the game, and ultimately did. TNC take one game away from Infamous in the two-game series. We're going to a game two. TNC looking to secure their spot in the top four of the group to try and stand the winner bracket of the main event. We'll be right back for game number two.